Okay, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Metabolic Conditioning. I am Caitlin. Today we are on phase 10, week five. We're going to be having uh, six weeks in this phase. So next week is going to be our last week. In this phase, it's going to be a spooky workout. So for Halloween, so hopefully you can join there as well. We'll have some fun, spooky exercises. Uh, still sticking with our similar format to finish out our phase. Today we are doing upper pull, lower push. And we are going to be starting with um, the in a plank position. Make sure you have kind of a medium set of dumbbells. You don't have to go super heavy today. And let's get started. So plank position. We're going to push back into the downward dog. And then back to plank. It's going for about six to eight reps here. Putting your heels down in downward dog. And then finding that core engagement when you're in your plank. Wonderful, let's do it. One more rep. And perfect. Going down to the ground, we're going to take our right leg, lift it up, drop it across our body, stack our hips, both shoulders touch the ground. And then we'll switch over to the other side. So left leg up and dropping across. Make it some movement through your mid back and low back. Feel pretty good. Going for about three or four reps each side here. Wonderful. Rolling on up. We're going to go to 90 degrees with that front leg and 90 with the back. And we're just going to get some um, movement through our hips and engagement through our glutes. So we're going to press up. Push those hips forward, come back down. If you need to move your feet a little bit, um, about 90, and maybe a little bit closer to um, smaller angle than 90 degrees in the back. So pressing those hips up, coming back down. Just going for about four or five reps here. On this side. Wonderful, and then we'll switch sides. So pressing up. Coming back down. Good. Milo will be joining us today. <laughs> I was wondering. And perfect. Good. We're going to go into a quick child's pose. Knees wide. Feet together. Sit back in your heels. And then walk those fingertips out to get a nice stretch through your lats, through your shoulders. Wonderful. Okay, we are going to move into our movement prep next. So we are going to be starting with a forward lunge with a twist. So we'll step forward, twist towards that front leg, and then push back, alternating side to side. Ready, in three, two, one, good. So step forward, twist towards that front leg, and then we'll switch sides. Try to have that front leg go to about 90 degrees. Nice job. We'll go one more each side right here. And perfect. Going down on our back, you're going to go into a glute bridge march. So hips are lifted. Find that glute engagement. And then we're going to just lift those knees about an inch or two off the ground. Ready? Three, two, one. Good. So keeping your glutes engaged the whole time so that your hips are not dropping down. Nice job there. There's three, two, one. Perfect. Rolling on up. We're going into an inchworm. So we'll be walking out into a plank position, try to keep those legs straight on the way down. So walk out into that plank position, and then walk on, back up, stand up. Ready, three, two, one, we're on. So keep those legs straight, walk out, 
Find that core engagement. You know, walk back up, stand up, reach up. Just be getting three reps in here, taking your time. Nice, there's three, two, one, perfect. Okay, going into base rotation, the last one we're learning for movement prep. One foot's forward, one's back, rotating at our hips, side to side. Ready, three, two, one, we're on. Good, keeping that core engaged. Maybe hitting those obliques a little bit. Good, there's three, two, one. Okay, quick drink if you need it. We're going through those one more time before we move on to our strength and power. Okay, we're starting with that forward lunge with a twist. Ready, three, two, one. So step forward and twist towards that front leg. Trying to keep your weight in that front heel, not going too far into your toes. Last rep. And good, okay, on the ground, going into our glute bridge. And then we're gonna add in the march. Ready, three, two, one, hips press up, and then drive those knees up. Nice, there's three, Two, one, good, rolling on up. We're going to go into that inchworm. This time at the bottom when you're in your plank, if you want to do a shoulder tap, shoulder tap, walk back up. You can add in just a little bit more core. Ready, three, two, one, we're walking out. That plank position, and then shoulder tap, shoulder tap, walk back up. Just doing three reps total. Wonderful, one more. There's three, two, one. Okay, going into our base rotation. Last one in our movement prep. In three, two, one, we're on. Good, nice rotation at the hips. Let's go a little faster this round. There's three, two, one. Awesome, grab a drink and we are moving on. Strength and power. So today, we are doing 35 seconds of strength. We get a 15 second break. We're going into 25 seconds of explosive cardio. 15 second break. 35 seconds of core. And then a 40 second break. Three rounds before we move on to our second and final group. So our first ones are gonna be Supermans. We will be on our stomachs, arms out, legs out, we're Lift up, hold for about two or three seconds, and then come back down. We'll be moving into plank jacks and bicycle claps. I'll explain those as we're going. Okay, getting down, we're ready for those supermans. 35 seconds right here. In three, two, and one. We're on, so lifting up, and back down. Finding that glute engagement. Also engaging the muscles in your back, your hamstrings. Trying to relax at your neck though. Good, 
Good, holding for two or three seconds at a time. There's three, two, one, perfect. Okay, we are going to be going into our plank jack snaps. So in that plank position, we're gonna be jumping our feet in and out. Ready, three, two, one, we're on. Right here. Staying nice and flat. If jumping's not for you, you just step out to the side. Nice job. Five seconds. Finish it out. There's three, two, one. Perfect. Woo, okay, we're going into our bicycle claps for our core. So, on our back, we're going to be sitting up, clapping underneath, alternating sides. In three, two, one. We're on 35 seconds right here. If these are really challenging, just modify with normal bicycles. Good, keeping your core engaged the whole time. Let's go. There's three, two, and one. Awesome, relax right there. We get a nice 40 second breather. Grab a quick drink if you need it. We're going back through those two more rounds. We'll be starting with those Supermans. About 25 seconds here. Good, if you wanna add in a little extra stretch, you can go into either a cobra position or sphinx pose. Get a little stretch throughout your back. Okay, let's get ready to go. In three, two, one. 35 seconds here. Lift up, hold for three, Two, one, and down. Nice. Good. Trying to lift both your chest and your legs off as much as you can. Really nice. There's three, two, one, good. Flipping over. We're going into our plank jacks next. Okay, getting ready to go. Nice and quick here, 25 seconds. Starting in three, two, and one. We're on. Good, keep it quick. Push it. There's five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna get ready for our bicycle claps. Getting ready to go in three, two, one. We're on. Nice little sit up, clapping underneath. And we're going to that 35 second long exercise. Taking it slow on the way down. Find that core engagement. Nice. Five seconds to go. There's three, two, go one more, and one. Awesome. Grab a quick drink. We're going through those one more round, and then we're moving on. Okay, again, stretching out that lower back here. In that sphinx pose, pushing those shoulders back and down. Should feel pretty good. Okay, we're gonna get ready to go in 10 seconds. Final round for these exercises. 
Let's make it the best one. In three, two, one. We're on. Lift up and down. This time, if you want to extend the time that you're holding up, go for five to ten seconds instead. Going to be a little harder. Good, we have five seconds to go here, holding strong. There's five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, relax. Flipping on over, we're going into those blank jacks. Okay, let's go for it. Starting in three, two, and one, we're on. Good, jumping out to the side. Keep it moving right here. Five seconds, finish it out. Three, two, one. Nice, going into our bicycle claps. Flipping over. Last time through these. Okay, turning a three, two, one, we're on. Sit up, clap underneath. Nice job here. 15 seconds, best reps. There's five seconds, but shit out. Couple more. There's three, two, and one. Awesome, grab a drink, take a nice little breather. We're gonna be moving on now. Three new exercises. We're also going to be taking up the intensity just a little bit. <laughs> so while you're grabbing a drink, just pay attention. I'm going to show you the next exercises. We're going to be starting with our right foot leg forward in a split squat lunge. So one foot forward, one's back. For round one, we'll have, hold our weights at our sides. We're just going to go down and up. Okay, so good power through that leg. Up that pop up. Then we're going to be moving into um, jump squats and then into V ups. So I'll explain those as we go. But pretty much all you need to know right leg forward, you decide if you want to add in weights at your sides or one weight up at your chest. Let's get ready. Okay, starting in three, two, one. We are on. So right leg forward, left leg back, going down and up. So you're keeping your chest up, back knees not quite touching the ground. Good power through that right leg, especially hitting your quad and your glute. Nice job here. There's five, four, three, two, one. Good. Set those weights down. We are going to be moving into jump squats next. So making it nice and explosive, or if jumping's not for you, you just go up onto your toes. Ready? Three, two, one. 25 seconds here. This one's going to get your heart rate up. I want you to push it. Nice job sitting low, exploding high. 10 seconds, pushing it through. There's three, two, one. Woo! Taking that breather, getting ready for our V ups. So, body's gonna be in a V position to start with. Come together, come apart. Ready, three, two, one, we're on. Come together, come apart. 
small motion, but to be really deliberate here. Nice, your chest comes up off the ground. There's three, two, get one more, and one. Woo, take a nice little breather. So those are our three. We're gonna go again. This time our left leg is moving forward. Stand up, grab a drink, catch your breath. Okay, we're gonna go to about 10 seconds. Grabbing those weights, getting in position, left leg forward right here. Starting in three, two, one, we're on. Down and up. You feel a little more power coming from your quad and the glute on the left side. I feel a little bit on the right as well. That's fine. Good. We have five to go. There's three, two, get one more. And one, perfect. Shake it off. We're going back into those jump squats or you're here coming up to those toes. Still kind of keeping your head explosive. Let's go in three, two, one. Bring it right here. Blow it up. Lifting off the ground. Good, we have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, whoo. Okay, get those reps in. Go into our V-ups. This time, if you want to add in a weight, feel free. In three, two, one, we're on. V, come together. Nice job here. We're doing three more reps. There's three, two, go one more, and one. Awesome. Sitting on up. We have one final round through those three. Standing up, grab a drink. This time we're gonna start with our right leg for half of that 35, and then switch over to our left leg. We'll get a nice quick switch, no break in between those two. Okay, we're gonna get ready to go. We have 10 seconds till we get started. Grabbing those weights, right leg forward. Starting at three, two, one, we're on, down and up. Again, only half the time right here. Good power. And then switch legs on this next one. Really nice. There's five to go. There's three, two, one, perfect, shake it off. You know what's next. Your favorite, right? <laughs> Jump squats. I want these to be the best ones yet. Starting in three, two, one. We're on. Nice and explosive. Good, sitting low, jumping high, well. 10 seconds.
There's three, two, one. Woo. Okay, go into our V ups. Getting ready to go. In three, two, one, we're on. Coming together and apart. Good, lifting that chest off the ground. We're going for five reps. There's five, four, three, two, get a little more, and one. Awesome job. <laughs> Grab a drink. Take a nice breather right here. Okay, well, lucky for us, we're not done quite yet. <laughs> we still have our EST section, which is gonna be a fun one. So we're pulling out our plank jacks that we did for round one, jump squats that we did in round two, and then we are adding in skaters. So skaters, you're gonna step back and across, and then go to the other side, making it a nice explosive exercise if you can, and if you have space to do it slowly. Uh, if you have space. Okay. Make sure your weights are out of the way. So it's gonna be 20 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Starting with those plank jacks, moving into those jump squats, moving into those skaters. We'll do that twice, then we'll rest, and then repeat. Okay, so four rounds total with a nice big break in between them. We're gonna get rolling with our plank jacks first. So starting in that plank position, This is where you can push that speed, push that intensity. Finish off this workout really strong here. Okay, let's go. In three, two, one. Plank jacks. Good, so jumping up, keeping your body nice and flat. Nice, 10 seconds here. Three. Two, one, nice. Okay, going into our jump squats. This one's hard, that's okay. Really nice and explosive. Or just turning into body weight squats if you need to. In three, two, one, we're on. Good, exploding up right here. Five seconds less than our last round. So you maybe do it just a little bit more intensity. Good, five to go. There's three, two, one. Woo! Going into our skaters. Good, catching your breath right here. Let's go in three, two, one. We're on side to side. Again, keeping your back up nice and straight. There's three, two, one. Awesome. Breathe it down. And then go down towards the ground, going into our plank jacks. Starting in three, two, one. We're on. So going through this second round, we'll get a breather after this one. There's three, two, one. Standing up, jump squats. 
Catch your breath. Let's bring it. Okay. Starting in three, two, one. We're on. Nice and explosive right here. Keep bending those knees. Getting low. Yeah. There's three, two, one. Skaters. Let's bring it. Starting in three, two, one. We're on. Side to side right here. 20 seconds. Let's go. Three, two, one. Grab a drink. Nice break. Take your time right here. Catch your breath. Walk it off. Wonderful job. So what we just did was two times through. We're doing that one more time. So two times through again. One final time today. Good. Make sure you're catching your breath here. Giving yourself the gift of just relaxing for a few more seconds before we go right into those two rounds. Okay, we're going to get it started in about 20 seconds here. Grab that final drink. And we're getting on the ground, ready for those plank jacks. Okay. Let's go in five, four, three, two, and one. We're on. Nice job right here. 10 seconds to go. There's three, two, one. Nice. Standing up. Going into our jump squat. Okay. Getting ready to bring it. In three, two, one. We're on. Nice and explosive. If your legs are getting really tired, you can do one normal squat, one jump squat back and forth. One normal, one jump. There's three, two, one. Woo! Going into our skaters. Okay. Starting in three, two, one. We're on right here. If you have a nice big space, add in that jump, make it explosive. If your space is smaller like mine, definitely stay in control. Don't hit anything. And perfect. Got your breath. We have one final round today. Okay, starting with our plank jack. In three, two, one. We're on. Let's go. We have one minute of work to finish it off today. There's three, two, one. Okay, jump squats. I'm going to that one squat, jump squat, to modify. Three, two, one. We're on. Next one's yet, yeah, right here. Okay, 
Good, 10 seconds. Let's go. Turbo speed. Three, two, one. Going into our skaters. Catch your breath. Okay, three, two, one. We're on side to side. Let's keep up that speed and that intensity. Last round. There's three, two, one. Woo! Grab a drink. Really, really nice job. Walk it off. Awesome. Taking your time, catching your breath right here. Wonderful, wonderful job today. Thank you so much for coming. Okay. So from here, we're going to reach up nice and tall and drop one arm down to the side, reach the other arm over. Make sure you keep your chest up, not letting yourself fall down right now. Good, go to the other side. Feeling that nice side body stretch. Good, we'll go back to each side one more time. Wonderful, from here, if you have really good balance, we're going to go into a quad stretch. If you're tired or your balance isn't great, let's hold on to something like either the wall, the couch, chair, and then grab at your ankle, push your hip forward into a nice deep quad stretch. Good. Let's switch over to that other side. Again, grabbing at your ankle, not at your toes. Push that hip forward. You're really feeling your hip flexor as well. Let's switch sides one more time. Good. Last quad stretch. Good, we're just gonna spread our feet nice and wide, sit back on your heel and sit into one side. So lateral squat, and then going over to the other side. Again, sitting back on that heel. It should feel a really nice inner thigh stretch. We'll just go side to side a couple times here. Later today at noon, we have um, express abs, I'll be leading today. So it'll be a fun class, feel free to come back. If you want a quick 15 minute workout or break in your day. Good, side to side a couple more times. Wonderful. Otherwise, we'll see you again next week. Thank you so much. And again, spooky Halloween workout next Friday from Metabolic Conditioning. So come back and see you again. Thank you.